Now, ASPW Weather. This is Phil Frame in for Ferdinand Holm, and this was the situation over the last few hours looking out from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. You can see the low clouds off in the distance, and I'm going to give you the current image, and right now you can see they have hardly changed at all. It has been almost stationary. Now, right now, around the area, actually the high temperatures for today, we had 80s to 90 degrees in Scotts Valley, about the same as they were yesterday. As we slide down to the Monterey Bay area, you can see we had 67, 66 in Seaside. That was the cool spot, up to 85 in Big Sur. And here in the Salinas Valley, the range was from 74 here in Salinas up to 85 down in King City. Just a typical temperature pattern for this time of the year. Also rather typical in the Santa Clara Valley, although a little cool in San Jose with a high of only 75, but you get into the mid and upper 80s as you get into the Gilroy Morgan Hill area. And here are the low clouds. These are the latest visible satellite images and you can see that they are really moving in like gangbusters. We have temperatures right now from 65 in Monterey up to 70 in San Jose and 93 in Bradley. And here's the situation out over the eastern Pacific. We do have a weather system, a cold front. It is not going to affect our weather. We are seeing the onshore flow begin to push in those low clouds, and that is going to be the trend over the next day. For today, we're going to see those co correction. Tomorrow, we're going to see those coastal low clouds, and we're going to see temperatures a bit cooler. And if we take a look at our future cast forecast model. You can see why. We have the jet stream. It's actually going to dip a little bit into Northern California. And with that, it's going to really help to increase the onshore flow tomorrow afternoon and evening. So right along the coast, you're really going to feel a difference, I think, because the winds are going to be stronger and the temperature is a little bit cooler. And then after tomorrow, things change in a big way. Strong high pressure builds in from the east and that hot air, you can see this hot air all the way out, hundreds of miles out over the ocean. That's going to bring a heat wave to the inland areas and really compress the marine layer so we see fog, if you see anything at all, and we're going to see very hot temperatures in the inland areas and maybe a little bit warmer along the immediate coast, but most places will be warmer. For the San Francisco Bay Area, tomorrow it's going to be a bit cooler. Highs in the 60s to low 70s. You should get the sunshine. For the Santa Clara Valley, you ex can expect to see highs in the 70s to mid 80s, a little bit cooler, but uh, really good weather for the Garlic Festival as we expect to see temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to mid 80s in Gilroy from the beginning of the festival to later in the day. And here in the Salinas Valley, expect temperatures from the 70s to low 80s, a little bit cooler, and it will be breezy. And for the Monterey Bay area, temperatures in the 60s to mid 70s. Also, for the Santa Cruz County area, temperatures generally in the 70s to mid 80s. And for the wharf to wharf, it's going to start off at around 59 degrees, and by the end, it'll be about 66. You may have some low clouds at the beginning, but you'll probably have sunshine toward the end of the six-mile race to Capitola from Santa Cruz. And for the inland areas, for the next few days, you can see we get that big heat wave, 105 Wednesday and Thursday. And for the coast, well, you know, the moderating influence of the ocean are going to keep those temperatures down, but still wow. places like Santa Cruz could get up into the mid-90s Tuesday and Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see a change. Warm weather ahead, definitely. Yes, well, <laughs> ahead to know, the coast. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Phil. Appreciate sure. it. We'll